Hello, you guys. It is so nice to be here today. It has been so long since I filmed a video. I did not plan on staying away for this long, but December into January has been the month of the never-ending laryngitis. I talked to you guys about this on my Instagram. I cannot kick this cold. It's definitely not COVID. I've had so many tests at this point. Um, but yeah, I'm sorry if I sound a little congested today. But I could not stay away from YouTube. I missed you guys so much, and I, all these new releases have had me so excited. So I definitely have the bug back. I have to be honest, for a while it was really hard for me to find the motivation to even just to get down here and film. Um, the baby was still waking up at night and my plan or my schedule back, way back when was that I would wake up in the morning before the kids get on here and film. Um, but with him waking up it was just hard to just find the strength in the morning to do that. But now he is sleeping and the kids are back in school so I have a little bit more time. Um, still working, still going into the hospital and the hospital has been super busy too. That is another stressor. Um, but yeah, I don't know if it's a little bit of seasonal depression too. This time of year always gets me. And then, I don't know, my sister-in-law thought it could be a little bit of a postpartum. It's been a while. My son's in seven months now, but who knows? Maybe it's like a delayed postpartum thing, but I just, oh, I just feel blah these days. But I am back. I got the bug back. All these new releases have me so excited. Also too, I walked for the first time this morning and I can't even tell you how long. We actually just invested in a treadmill and I can tell, already tell it's going to be the best purchase of 2022. I feel so much better already and I feel like that was a little um, push for me this morning too. I, I woke up before everybody, got on the treadmill just for 20 minutes, did some power walking on an incline for a little bit and I'm feeling good. So I wanted to get on here and film and talk to you guys about my favorite skincare products of 2021. I also at the end of the video I'm going to talk about uh, my big fails for the year as well. I have my whole drawer full of the big skincare fails for the year, so lots of big flops in there that you guys will hear about, about as well. But first, let's talk about the good things. And I'm gonna fly through this just to put that out there. I know a lot of the times, in all my reviews really, I focus on the ingredients. These are just gonna be quick speed reviews for you guys because I can't even tell you how many products I have in front of me. I have at least 50 products in front of me. So this is gonna be hopefully not too long of a video, but a fun one. Um, grab a snack, grab a coffee. Um, I have my coffee and my water ready to go. Um, so let's go ahead and just get right into it. So first let's talk about my favorite cleansers for the year. My number one favorite has to go to the Paula's Choice Omega Complex Cleansing Balm. So smoothing, such a rich consistency in a cleanser. It's a cross between a cream cleanser and a balm. I love this. It's so gentle, non-irritating on the skin. It has amazing oils in here, Wahoba and Meadow Foam Seed Oil. I said at the beginning I wasn't going to go into ingredients, but I, you guys know me. I cannot help myself. Um, but yeah, some beautiful oil, oils are in here, and it just works, and it hydrates the skin. My skin has been so dry, and this is the one cleanser that actually hydrates my skin. My favorite way to use this, you guys just heard about this tip on my Instagram page, but I actually use this as a mask in the shower. Um, it just works so well to keep in all that water to prevent that transepidermal water loss when you're taking a, a scalding, 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 scalding. <laughs> hot shower like I do. I know it's not good for dry skin, but I just can't help myself, especially in these cold Philly winter months. Um, but yeah, this is one of my favorites for sure. Another one, if I have a breakout, I kind of incorporate this one every couple weeks or so just to kind of keep all my oil and um, impurities at bay. But this is the Verse Keep the Peace Acne Calming Cleanser. This has a little bit of salicylic acid in here and it does great at keeping those blemishes um, away and also clearing up your blemishes as well and it's really gentle so I really like this don't overdo it though I noticed I use this two or three times in one week and my skin was pretty irritated but if you use this once or twice a week it is definitely a gentle salicylic cleanser really love this and then the elf bounce back jelly cleanser is one of my most favorite affordable cleansers I have another affordable one that I've been loving as well but this is just a really unassuming cleanser it's just like a jelly base aloe vera leaf extract in here cucumber extract um, and just gentle cleansers it does the trick, it's a light cleanse. I especially like this for the morning. This is great and it's six bucks. The other cleanser that I really enjoy that is very affordable is the Yes to Avocado Fragrance Free 
cream cleanser so so moisturizing on the skin it does the trick it's not super cleansing it doesn't like you know get down into those deep deep pores and clear everything out if I have a heavy makeup day I will not reach for this but on those really dry skin days this is really nourishing on the skin love this and then the Selfless by Hiram Cleanser. This was a big surprise. I don't know why. I guess I don't really usually expect much out of any cleanser really, but this is such a satisfying cleanse. It's a cross between like a balm and a cream cleanser and a jelly cleanser. It has such a unique consistency. Let me actually show you guys what this looks like. It's slightly runny, but it does a great job washing off a full face of makeup and it's really gentle in here as well. There's also centella and green tea in here, so nice additives in here. Not that, I mean, you're washing it off your face anyway, but I appreciate when I'm spending a little bit more for a cleanser, you're getting those extra bonus ingredients. So I really like this. Still one of my favorite cleansing bombs goes to Glow Recipe, the Papaya Sorbet Cleansing Balm. This is such a treat at the end of the night. Oh my gosh, this smell of this takes you to a tropical island. It is so effective, um, does the trick, and it leaves my skin really hydrated, non-stripped. Also like reaching for this um, on those really dry day days. And I just love that it always leaves moisture behind. So this is one of my favorites and I love this smell. It's so satisfying. And then one of my favorite gel cleansers is by The Inky List. The Fulvic Acid Brightening Cleanser is a gel base, but it has oils in here. So it's very nourishing on the skin and great for dry skin. Still effective. It easily washes off a full face of makeup. You get a nice light foam with this and non-stripping light foam. It's not too much, but it's still hydrating at the same time, which I appreciate. So love this. All right, and getting into these essences. I love an essence, especially in the winter time. One of my favorites is the I'm From Rice Toner. This is a burst of hydration for your skin. It's a water light, it absorbs really qu quickly. It just does the trick when you just want some extra moisture into your skin. I love this for my super dry days. And then the Dear Claire's Supple Prep Unscented Toner. Called a toner, but don't think of this as an astringent toner. It's more of an essence, and it has almost like this watery, slightly jelly like consistency. It's very unique, but so hydrating on the skin. It really packs in the hydration, and it just feels so good on the skin. It leaves like this slippery feel. Your skin just feels instantly plump after using this. Has This has licorice root in here as well, so you're getting a brightener. So I like when you get some bonuses from an essence, and this is one of my favorites. Now, if I want some extra makeup removal, I love this one by Verse. This is the Baby Cheeks All-in-One Hydrating Milk. This is coconut water in here. Um, it is very similar to the I'm From. <clears throat> here comes the frog voice. <coughs> Sorry about that. Um, very similar to the I'm From Rice Toner in the consistency, but this has a little bit more of a slip to it. So great for removing off that excess eye makeup. Love this. And I love the packaging too. It has that little pump. Great for a cleansing pad. Still my favorite mask of all time has to go to Drunk Elephant's TLC Sakori Baby Facial. This is the most effective mask I've ever used hands down. I know it's expensive, but it is well worth the money. We have AHAs in here. There's also BHAs. Just, it just really cleans out those pores, but the most um, satisfying result I get from this is the brightness. I literally, the first time I used this, I'm like, I wish I would have taken a before picture, but I swore that it took down the pigment in my dark spots within that first use. I don't know if it was just a heavy duty exfoliating action, but this is such an effective mask. I love this. It's not for the faint of heart. It definitely has a strong tingle, but if you can stand that stronger tingle, this sits on your skin for 20 minutes, you wash it off, and you just have just such a smooth complexion, smooth and bright complexion. I love this. My favorite retinol for the year. Now I just started using this, I think in the fall. Um, the Hello Results by It Cosmetics is a wrinkle reducing daily retinol serum in cream. Now you can easily double this as a moisturizer. It has like this thin consistency, but it's very buttery. But now that my skin is even drier, I will apply a thin layer underneath a moisturizer. And I've seen a lot of lightening for my dark spots, but most importantly, this smoothness and more so the wrinkles that I'm getting around my eyes, just those creepy wrinkles. And when I first started using this, I noticed the peeling action which I know doesn't sound um, like the most uh, desirable result you want out of a skincare product. But the fact that it's an over-the-counter retinol and I'm visibly seeing the peeling, um, it really does just exfoliate the skin so well and, you know, hopefully I'm getting that collagen building from that retinol ingredient. So if you're new to retinols and if you want to try an over-the-counter that is effective but yet gentle, this one by It Cosmetics is fabulous. 
Another worthy mention, um, another retinol, I haven't used this in a while, this is probably expired by now actually, but I just wanted to mention it because this is another great option. It's very similar to the It Cosmetics in that it has a buttery consistency, so great for those of you that have dry skin that want to try out a retinol that doesn't really dry out your skin. This is a great formula as well. A little thinner than the It Cosmetics, but it has that slippery, silky feel. Also effective. I also saw a little bit of peeling, but this never gave me any redness or anything, so a great over-the-counter retinol as well. The Verse Press Restart Gentle, Gentle Retinol Serum is such a beautiful serum. Um, it, I've never gotten irritation from this. Again, it's another serum that hydrates the skin, but you're still getting the powerhouse retinol ingredient. I love this. Again, if you're looking for a retinol to incorporate into your routine that is not irritating, this is a great one. And I just love, do you see that instant glow it gives? This is such a beautiful product. One of my favorite retinol serums. I love this. Um, Verse just makes great products. All right, and let's get into some oils. An old favorite has to go to the Bias and Squalene Oil. Very lovely fast absorbing what else can I say it does the trick I love this on my face on my body this is great and even though it's a Sephora skincare product I mean not all products at Sephora are super pricey but you're paying $29 for an oil when you can get one from the ordinary which I'll talk about in a sec but you're getting a lot for your money and when you break down cost per ounce this is actually comparable to ordinary oils so it's just such great quality for the money I really enjoy this and then also um, the Luna sleeping night oil by uh, Sunny Riley. I really just started using this back in December and which is why I was a little hesitant to include this in this video because it is a newer product and I can't really tell my final results because it's only been a month but I have been loving this for my neck and chest, my decollete, I hate that word. I don't know if it's just me, I don't know if it's like the too fancy for this Philly girl. I don't know. <laughs> but my chest area, let's call it the chest area. I've been wanting to wanting to incorporate more um, anti-aging ingredients into my this area over here because I have a lot more crepiness in my cleavage area, a lot more dark spots, and I just feel like the my complexion on my face is not really matching my <laughs> my chest. And I have been loving this. It works so great and it has retinol in here. It's a retinoid oil. It's so smoothing on the skin so it gives an instant glow and it almost like an instant anti-aging factor. Nothing's instant with anti-aging but it just gives that appearance of smooth skin. It has that blue tint to it which is a little odd but it does go away and it just makes everything just looks so like glowy and youthful. You know what? Let me check the ingredients real quick. I know I said I wasn't going to talk ingredients, but I just want to make sure I'm not being duped with it call being called a retinoid. Like retinoid can mean anything as far as vitamin A goes. Like for all I know, this could be just like a rosehip seed oil. Let oh my god, I would be so mad. Let's see. Okay. Sorry, there is a retinoate in here. Okay. Thought I was being duped there Sunday rally for a second, but all right. To be fair, there is um, an over-the-counter retinol, and it is higher up on the ingredient list. You know, sometimes they include like a, a retinol pomade, but it's in there like at the preservative level. But keep in mind, you only need retinol at very tiny percentages to actually have an effect. So, okay, that makes me happy. <laughs> so we actually have real retinol in here. Um, but I really do like this so far. It's really smoothing on the skin, and I've gotten no irritation from it. And another oil that I love is by The Ordinary. This is their Argan oil. It's great for in my hair on my legs, on my elbows, everywhere. It's quick absorbing. Um, it takes down all that scaliness. It's so nourishing, but it's so, so lightweight. I was really impressed by this argan oil, one of my favorites. Very close to the Josie Marin argan oil, if not, I would argue, essentially the same. I did that whole oil comparison video. Um, I think I said that, I I think I found the Josie Marin a little bit more quick absorbing, but ultimately it gave me the same result. So this is just a great affordable option if you're looking for a good argan oil. My favorite serum hands down has to go to, speaking of Sunday Riley, Sunday Riley's Good Jeans. You guys know my love for this. This is so effective at brightening and smoothing the skin. If you're looking for an anti-wrinkle brightening treatment that exfoliates the skin, this is amazing. The results you get from this are so almost not instantaneous. I mean, the next day you're going to be waking up with plump skin, smooth skin, bright skin. I think it's the fact that, so this is a lactic acid containing exfoliator, but it's formulated at a very low pH. I think I read somewhere that it's like two to three, and that is so 
so low for over the counter so it's almost like you're getting an in derm office treatment with this serum it's just great so great anti-aging serum right here love this and then next up beauty of Josian. some of the best hydrating serums my favorite are the repair serum and the glow serum so hydrating on the skin and last but not least has to go to dermatology one of my favorite niacinamide serums i have to be really careful with niacinamide because a lot of these serums dry out my skin but this serum is so it feels like a really high-end really fancy schmancy serum now don't get me wrong it is expensive i do have a code with dermatology by the way um hbr 20 so you can get 20 percent off of this but there's something about the quality of this serum it's so velvety feeling on the skin and the ingredients are great in here you're getting a ton of great um you know skin changing ingredients in here that are science backed it's fragrance free but overall this really just makes a difference in the hydration levels of my skin and i really noticed a, the biggest difference in like the inner corners of my eyes with this i started to bring it up a little further plumps out the skin and just does a great job at smoothing everything out great anti-aging serum right here love this all right so now let's get into sunscreens a new one for me this year was by elta md the first and only elta md product i've tried let me know any of your recommendations by this brand down below love the tinted version ultra moisturizing and the tint is nice a little dark for my skin tone right now so i was using this more in the summer um, and it's just very, very hydrating. It gives a nice dew to the skin. Speaking of dew, the Color Science Flex sunscreens are amazing. You get medium coverage with these. Just such a cool product. It has these pigment beads in here that burst, so you get coverage and SPF protection, SPF of 50, nothing like these. I love this product. Color Science has some great products. Um, and then another one by Beekman 1802. I got this at Ulta. This is a great dupe for Maybe it's not, not, not as uh, oily based as the Josie Marin, but it's similar to the finish of the Josie Marin Daily Moisturizing Sunscreen. This is their Milk Primer SPF of 35. It just gives this nice, like, luminous finish to the skin, and it's really thin, so great under makeup. And then while we're talking Josie Marin, um, my two favorites by them, the Daily Moisturizer Original. It does have a little bit of a white cast, but it's great for underneath makeup, especially if you, if you have really dry skin. And it's a thin formula, which I like. And then the Tinted is great. It gives such a beautiful glow to the skin. Hands down, probably my most favorite sunscreen right here. Another top two favorite uh, by Dermatology is the Universal Tinted Moisturizer. There's nothing like this glow, and this tint is perfect. It is a very neutral tint, and it just makes your skin look so radiant and just glowy, but there's no shimmer flex. I love that it has this light, moussey formula, and it just blends in the skin so easily. It wears nice throughout the day. I cannot say enough good things. I just love it. it and it keeps my skin moisturized throughout the day not as moisturizing as the Josie Marin but very very close and not as heavy feeling as the Josie Marin as well um, but yeah love that sunscreen and then last but not least by Biosense their zinc and squalene sunscreen I love this because it doubles as a moisturizer I can just like throw this on and go it gives a nice like dewy glue, glow to the glue. A nice, doesn't doesn't feel like glue, I promise. It's super lightweight and very moisturizing and it wears nicely throughout the day. A tiny, tiny bit of a white cast, but it does dissipate. It's just such a beautiful formula. This is highly rated for good reason. Loving this. So that does it for the sunscreens. Vitamin C, we're just gonna talk about one today. You guys know Timeless is my favorite vitamin C. Very um, glowy and lightweight on the skin. It feels like a light facial oil. Just really easy to use and incorporate into your daily skincare routine. And then eye cream. So I've... I, this was a little surprising for me. This Ole Henriksen Wrinkle Bakuchiol Eye Gel is nice and lightweight. It gives like a cooling feel to the skin. The Bakuchiol kind of turned me off a little bit. I'm not, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not a big believer in the Bakuchiol. Not enough studies for me and I don't know. I feel like it's one of those fad ingredients, but I just like this because it pumps my under eye and it just gives that awake cooling sensation. It's just really great. So I like this. I don't know if it's changed my wrinkles underneath my eyes at all, but... I like it. Um, the next one is the Pixie Retinol Eye Cream. Now this is an eye cream that will change the wrinkles uh, or the crepiness underneath your eyes. This actually has the retinol ingredient in here and has other great hydrators in here as well. Just nice occlusive agents. I like an eye cream that is occlusive. I I say that but this one is not occlusive but this is a great morning eye cream if you want to like just awaken your eye but for the nighttime when you went when you want powerhouse ingredients when you want an occlusive eye cream this is great one of the most underrated products by pixie hard to find a target now but you still can get it on pixie's website love this 
And then let's talk about, oh, this was a surprise to me, the City Beauty Under Eye Recovery. Not in the, not very affordable. This is a pricey eye cream, but what I love about this is the smoothing factor and also the fact that it has this like peachy pink tint. So it's very, very brightening. It's not super hydrating, but I love it in the AM. So this has been one of my favorites for daytime. And then another overnight treatment that is beautiful is the Beauty Pie Triple Hyaluronic Elastic Lifting Eye Cream. This has a really like lush consistency. It's very hydrating and smoothing underneath the eyes. And I, I just love this packaging in an eye cream as well. So that has one, been one of my favorites. Whew, running out of breath here. <laughs> All right, last but not least, let's talk about my favorite moisturizers for the year. Um, and while we're on the Beauty Pie train, do not sleep on Beauty Pie skincare, by the way. I have another, an unsponsored Beauty Pie video coming up. Look for that soon. Um, so many great products by them. I just replaced the Triple Hyaluronic Acid Miracle Cream. They sent this one out to me and I wanted to pick this up because I just, I love this. There's nothing like this moisturizer. It leaves this like slippery feel to the skin, this velvety feel. It has this like uh, pillowy soft, like plush, but also kind of watery at the same time. It leaves an occlusive layer, but it still has like a thin, easy to use consistency. Like it doesn't feel like super heavy on the skin, it, but it does the trick. If you have dry skin, this is such a gorgeous moisturizer. I, I love this. My husband just started using this as well. I talk a lot about his eczema dry patched skin and he has really been liking this as well. Another one of his favorites as well as mine is by Pharmacy, the Honey Halo Ultra Hydrating my moisturizer. This is another one of my favorite um, thick moisturizers. Probably one of the thickest I have. Um, very hydrating. Also lit, leaves that slippery feel. Super, super moisturizing on the skin. Love this. And a great daytime moisturizer. Even at night too, this works. The Summer Fridays Cloud Dew Gel Cream. A lot of people talked about this this year. Um, a lot of people were saying it was a dupe for the, the Clinique Moisture Surge. I know that's a favorite of a lot of people. I haven't tried that, but I, I can see See why there's so much hype around this product because it has a gel consistency but it has like this silky like smoothing feel on the skin it's so beautiful and so hydrating and it does really leave that due to the skin gorgeous eye cream I, I, or eye cream gorgeous moisturizer I really love that as well and then a cosmetic secret sauce I tried a sample of this a long time ago and I remember really liking it but I picked up some more cosmetic skincare I want to eventually do an a cosmetics uh, skincare review. This has been one of my hands down favorite products by them. It gives a really glowy result, but there's nice anti-agers in here, uh, peptides are in here, just really great ingredients. And I like the feeling that it leaves on my skin, just nice and moisturized, not too like heavy and greasy feeling. Love that. Um, is that the last of my moisturizers? Uh, one more by Versed. The Verse Skin Soak, I've talked about this forever now, the Skin Soak Rich Moisturizer is very similar to the Beauty Pie actually. Also reminds me of Drunk Elephant's Proteiny Cream in a way because it's lightweight but still very hydrating. Almost a cross between a gel and a cream consistency. It's so nice and All right, and last but not least, oh, this thing is heavy. My fail drawer for the year. Um, do we want to talk about every product? Would that bore you guys to death? I don't know. I'll just be quick with this. I'll go over like the main ones, but the Peach and Lily Glass Skin Refining Serum. Not a big fan of this. Sticky and irritating on my skin. And then we have the Sunday Riley Lighthearted Sunscreen. Left a white cast. Also felt heavy on the skin and drying as well. Um, let's talk. Oh, speaking of cast, the Derma E Sun Defense Mineral Sunscreen the strongest white cast ever and very pilly on the skin. It flaked up almost immediately. Another sunscreen fail was the Skin Perfecting Daily Veil by City Beauty. It has a weird pinky tinge to it and it, it just looks odd on the skin. Didn't like this and it's also very pricey. I just don't think it, it was worth the price. Although that was PR by the way, but I wouldn't spend my own money on that. Not worth it. Uh, the Boots Ingredient Squalene Cleanser. This this line is so great at Target. There's so many winners from this line. Very affordable. The most expensive product is $9.99. But this was a fail for me, unfortunately. The Squalene Cleanser just didn't clean my skin. It just felt like I was putting like a thin lotion on my skin. So I have a mascara in here randomly. You guys don't want to hear about that. The Essence Lash Princess waterproof version. Not waterproof. That's all you guys need to know. Um, and then we have the Dr. Dennis Gross Melt Away Cleanser. 
I just didn't like it. I don't really remember why. I don't think it really just, it didn't cling to my makeup and it just didn't do a good job at cleaning my skin. The Youth to the People Superberry Dream Cleansing Balm. I want my cleansing balms to have a satisfying experience. I want the nice smell. I want them to leave my skin velvety and moisturized. And it, this left a weird, first of all, it smells like plastic. And it left like a weird residue on the skin. Not really moisturizing feeling. It, I just don't like this for the price. Um, I just don't think this is worth it. So many great products from Youthful People. Their moisturizer, the Adaptogen Cream Moisturizer, is one of my favorites. I haven't picked that up in a long time. I actually really miss that moisturizer. Um, but yeah, that was just not a winner for me. Um, the Holly Frog Grand Amino Cushion Cream. Not moisturizing enough for my dry skin. And let's see, we have some Pixie products that were fails. Um, wait, I remember liking these blush sticks. Obviously not enough because I kept them in the store and never went back to them. Um, the, oh, we don't even need to talk about this one. Uh, the Garnier Replumping Serum Cream. It, it pilled on the skin, smelled bad, and it was irritating, that watermelon smell. I do really love the cannabis version. That one is great, it's fragrance free, and for some reason that one doesn't pill. I think this one had hyaluronic acid and the other version does not, so maybe that's why. But yeah, it didn't get along with the watermelon one. And then the Mad Hippie Face Cream. This has the strongest floral scent that sticks around and it felt irritating on my skin. Didn't like this and I didn't think it was moisturizing. And then the Versed Daymaker Micro Crystal Exfoliator. This was too strong on my skin, it irritated my skin. Also, along the same lines as that, the Yerba Matte Resurfacing Energy Facial by Youth to the People, also way too strong. And actually in the directions, it only says to leave on for three minutes, and I can see why. I think I left it on for a little bit longer, and oh my gosh, did this burn my skin. But even when I tried just to use this as a cleanser, it was just way too harsh. Um, just too strong. And the physical exfoliant in there, I'm not sure what it is, but it just felt very harsh on the skin. The Sink Sport, another one with a bad white cast. This Milani gel cleanser was so bad. This is, it smells good. It smells like that nice coconut smell, but it does not clean the face. Like it feels like you're just slathering gel on your face that you can't wash off. I, no, <laughs> not a fan. The Tatcha Dewey Serum, this is nice, not worth the price whatsoever. Ever. It moisturizes the skin, but I just didn't see any results from this, so I, I wouldn't recommend that for the price. And then the Yes to Avocado Hyaluronic Acid Serum. Funny story about this, I was actually offered um, a sponsored video on this product, which I was really excited for because I love the cream cleanser, which you guys heard about earlier, but this is sticky and it left a film on my skin, not a pleasing hyaluronic acid whatsoever. I just could not in good conscience recommend this to you guys. So this was unfortunately a fail. But all right, the last two products I'll mention, the first one by Skin Fix. This is their Barrier Triple Lipid Peptide Cream. Heard so many great things about this. It's really thick and occlusive, but it did not moisturize my skin. It just felt like I was wearing a mask on my skin. It didn't feel like it absorbed into my skin. It felt like it kind of sat on top of my skin. I just didn't get the moisture I was hoping from this. So that was a fail by Skin Fix. And then the Inky List Sim Bright Moisturizer. I don't know what it is about Inky List moisturizers, but I haven't gotten along with one of them yet. I haven't tried the peptide one, that sounds promising, but this one was just not moisturizing enough. So yeah, just, you know, that's all I can really say about that too. It's just, I wish it was more hydrating is all, but that is it. That is the end of my fails. Um, I think you read out most of them in here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know your favorites for the year. Let me know your big flops for the year. What were your favorite releases? I'd love to hear from you guys. You guys are the best. Thank you for still being here. Thank you for um, just, I guess, allowing me to take that break. That sounds weird. Um, but uh, I just appreciate your guys' support so much. I do have a giveaway going on over on my Instagram page. So if you want to check that out, go follow me over there. I'd love to have you guys on that platform as well. Alright guys, that does it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in my next one.